Okay, so now we start with uh, ICM CFD and these two files are uh, uploaded in the first lecture of this section. So first file the 2D file, second file the 3D file. And uh, I will show you the complete procedure for 2D blocking and uh, I will show you some steps, some hints on the 3D blocking. And the overall the, the strategy is same. The only difference that the, in the one case we have the 2D geometry, second case we have the 3D geometry. And there are, there are slight differences and I will show you in the these cases later on when I finalize the blocking for the 2D case. So first of all, open the model from the import model command and choose the 2D option, 2D model here and click on open and click on OK. And this will open the space claim file for the 2D, 2D 9 degrees band. And then from geometry enable the points and I need two more points on these curves to hold the blocking here. So I will choose the parameter the point 5 or 50 percent location for these two curves. And after that I will go and create a new block. And the name of the part is a fluid. You can put any name here. This can be the air, this can be the water, this can be the liquid, this can be the oil. But it should not be the solid unless we have the solid geometry here. And the type of the block is the 2D planner and apply. And now let's discuss about the blocking strategy for this geometry. It's a very simple geometry. And uh, I want to know your idea about the blocking of this case. So might be you can go for the, the blocking split in this way. Here, here and maybe here. And also one split here. So this is the what the, the when students they are they are learning ICM series they will think about this type of the geometry. So it means that the, we have to delete the block number 18, 17, 13, 14 because they are outside the geometry in this way. And then I will try to adjust the blocking to the geometry roughly in this way, like this. So you can see here that the all other blocks are okay. But the block here, they have the triangular shape here. So the one solution I'm I'm just showing you this one solution is that you can just merge these vertices, these vertices here, for example, and don't select the option propagate merge. So you can merge these vertices in this way, also here, then here, and then here. And uh, after that, I will make uh, one more split here on these points. And again, I will adjust the blocking by moving them to the some rough locations. All right. And uh, then I will associate them everything and all right. Okay. So this can be done in the next video, but I'm just trying to give you idea concept of the blocking here. So this is one way, but we have to make the few merges at the different blocking sides. The second method I want to show you is uh, much simpler here. So again the same blocking but this time I will not go for the split first and uh, I will move vertices slightly in this way and on this side I will move th this uh, vertex to the downside and this one to the other side of the geometry. And then I will make the again the three split side this time and I will move the blocking roughly to the geometry in this way. And now you can notice that the, the blocking we got in the first method is the same as the we are getting now. But this is a much clearer and the very neat procedure. And in the last procedure we have to, we had to merge the vertices and sometimes when we are in the 3D, these merging vertices may create the very bad shape blocks. So, I think that the best method is this one and I will always go with uh, this type of the strategy for the blocking of the these cases. The next video I will adjust them to the geometry and I will associate them and also I will create the pre-mesh parameters and I will export the mesh in the next videos.